that is take a look at the fastest way to make money in photography. And this is a hardcore irrefutable fact. There will be nobody in any book or anywhere on YouTube uh, that will condense it so fast and so simple as I do in the next 10 seconds. And that tip is, is when you can cross the divide, the Grand Canyon, if you will, between douchebag photography and professional photography, this is where the money is. When you could, uh, you know, you can do that, uh, <clears throat> that little trick that nobody else could do, kind of like a, uh, <clears throat> a beautiful contortionist that could wrap her body into a pretzel and uh, she's paid high money, high money to uh, shine <laughs> You can do something else that nobody else can do. That's where the money is. And uh, it's not in that extra $1,000 lens that you're going to buy. You've already got three or four lenses, to be sure, including a portraiture lens. Um, let's go over my favorite choices. Now, if you're out of country, you actually do have the option to uh, buy uh, these uh, Palsy Buff uh, units. And I have no connection to Palsy Buff. They don't give me any free stuff. They don't give me nothing, by the way. They don't even give me a free T-shirt. I even asked them once for a free T-shirt. I said, can you give me a T-shirt? And they're like, no. <laughs> That's the truth, by the way. <laughs> Crossed my heart. Um, yeah, it's just a T-shirt, you know. Uh, you can actually have these shipped to you in another country if you use a forwarding uh, address. Uh, and a lot of people on eBay do that. They'll actually... It only costs uh, like I don't know a few bucks, and then they they you ship it to a place in the United States, and they forward it to you for a fee in another country. But I've used a lot of studio strobes, and these are actually there's tons of professionals that agree that these are the best for the money. I mean, just bar none, what they can do, how how cheap and priced they are, but what they deliver on. You know, there are other options like Profoto and stuff, but I've actually found nothing better. And the IGBT controls and uh, what you can actually dial this down to and the fact that you could do 13 thousandths of a second uh, stop motion photography, I mean uh, stop motion photography with this Einstein unit and it's dialable between uh, two and a half watt seconds which is incredibly important for tabletop work or a feathering light. Especially if you're going to use like a three stop under ratio in uh, studio work or outdoor, uh, any location work where you're going to have your main light and your hair light. If you only have, like on these two units, which are incredible, I'm going to talk about them in a second, uh, a minimum power output of 10 and a half watt seconds, it sounds like not too much. But when you want to have a ratio of 4 to 1 between your main light and your hair light or background light, and you can only dial it down to 10 and a half watt seconds, that means that it's very minimum setting, is still too powerful. Um, these two are my favorite, but all of these are best buy in no particular order. Let me show you why this one is the best. This is the Paul Buff Einstein unit, 640 second, uh, watt, 640 watt second uh, strobe, IGPT control, has a modeling light. Uh, it's uh, incredibly easy to use, incredibly fast. There's actually a receiver unit here that is does cost another $39, I believe. So you have, uh, you're able to dial it down to 2.5 watt seconds all the way up to 640 watt seconds. Uh, completely remote, computer controlled. You can buy a simple uh, tripper that, that communicates with this, uh, this uh, CX, CSX CV uh, transceiver. I think it's like $40. The more advanced one, and it's the one that I use and actually fits in my hot shoe, is a little computer. I don't have the batteries in it right now. Not only is it a light meter, but it's also a computer. It lets me dial up and down away from my studio strobes or actually to these if I want to adjust my power I actually have to adjust them manually on the back of the strobe and if you got more than one strobe that's a problem even if you have one strobe time is money and when I don't actually have to to touch these I just turn them on boom and I can actually adjust the power and adjust uh, my modeling light uh, via my uh, cyber commander on the hot shoe of my uh, camera that's faster, easier, better, and I'm able to concentrate on what it is I'm doing instead of having to work, worry about the power on these. We're talking about $600 here, $400 here. I'm going to tell you why that's $400 and $400 here. 320 watt seconds, 320 watt seconds, 640 watt seconds, but dialable down to feather output of 2.5 watt seconds, which is really great for macro work. It's great, like I said, for hair light, background light, where you really want to dial it down. I've got four of these units for a reason. They are the best. They're super fast and easy. There are a lot of hardcore professionals that actually use the Einstein units because there is nothing else that's anywhere near as good. These are made in the United States, by the way. It's like, when's the last time you heard of something that's really awesome that's made in the United States? 
Another thing, too, consideration for all of these, but especially for the ABR 800, is a uh, mini Vagabond power pack. You're talking about $230. You can shoot all day long, even, well, half a day, anyway, at 640 watt seconds. But at the moderate output, you can shoot all day long with this uh, mini Vagabond lithium pack. It actually fits over your shoulder with a shoulder strap. This is my own little shoulder strap, but it does come with one for 240 bucks. Throw it over your shoulder like a purse, able to shoot outdoors on location, do whatever it is you want. Now that we've talked about the Einstein, what about on the cheap? Like I said, whether you choose this unit or a cheaper unit, uh, you're going to have to have portable power, by the way. Unless you just plan on you know, hauling around a 100-foot extension cord or shooting indoors, you're going to have to have a portable power pack like that. Let's move on to uh, two other options. Now, both of these, even though they look radically different, are exactly the same guts. This is the B800. Uh, my girl, Kate Miller, and I'll give you a link to her stuff below, she uh, had never used a studio strobe up until like a few months ago. Now she's, she's uh, she, even though she's using, and there's nothing wrong with the D7100, with a D7100 and a couple awesome lens recommendations from me, she is making a beautiful professional uh, studio uh, strobe photography with this unit. She's got it in hot pink though. <whistles> you go girl. <laughs> yeah, she, if this unit is available in many colors and she chose hot pink. <laughs> I couldn't help it. Uh, 320 watt seconds. You actually look back here. All the controls are manual. We do have a modeling light. Now there is a, a full ring xenon flash tube, which is rated for like 100,000 flashes. It's rather ridiculous. Replacement is, I believe, like 38 bucks. I mean, you could uh, damage this in transport. Very robust. The great thing about Paul C. Buff is that uh, unlike other companies where you um, kind of mess it up, they're like, you screwed it up. You're going to have to pay serious money. Paul C. Buff in most cases, even in cases of abuse where it's your own damn fault, um, and I don't speak for the company, will uh, fix it for the cost of labor or sometimes even cheaper. So the repair policy and uh, you know, uh, the cost of getting stuff fixed is one of the awesome things that Pulsey Buff, Pulsey Buff over everybody else on earth when it comes to studio strobes, I mean, they are number one, everybody else is way the hell down in the gutter. And they beat everybody. Period. This is a seven and a half inch reflector that this comes with. The guts on both of these are absolutely identical. These are the exact same uh, capacitors and circuitry. The only difference is it has been squished around into a ring on the ABR 800 here. This is the AB 800. It's uh, 320 watt seconds from 10 watt seconds to 320 watt seconds. This is also 10 watt seconds to 320 watt seconds with the exact same controls in the back. This is lightweight, designed to be portable. I've modified this a little bit by adding a pistol grip so it makes it more comfortable to handhold and a neck strap so I can hang it around. My neck, you're able to place the camera here, 50 millimeters, 85, whatever you want. Take the most beautiful lighting. Let me actually show you what's underneath the hood here. Most beautiful lighting you could possibly imagine with this thing. This one tool alone, and I made several videos about this unit, including some of my own super unique mods. This unit right here, will make you more money faster than anything else. There are only a few ring lights out there, true professional ring lights, and uh, the next one from this one costs a lot of money. A lot of money. And you can't modify it like you can this. Like I, I've made uh, half a dozen different mods, including a mod that lets you use this as the best macro uh, strobe tool that I've ever used, period, and I've used them all. We have eight modeling lights in here and two half moon xenon tubes, which actually form the tubes. You never want to touch those, by the way. If you do, you take rubbing alcohol with the unit off, wipe it. Skin oils cause uh, rapid degradation of xenon tubes. So they want, need to be perfectly uh, clean, sterile like a hospital, if you will. You have eight modeling lights here, and you have two half moon xenon tubes. I actually plug power with my battery pack into the ABR 800. This unit is $400. This unit will just spit out the money. This is an uh, ATM machine for photography. There is nothing that will make you, because nobody, uh, basically no other photographer has one of these. The beautiful light, just type in ABR 800 ring light and go to the Flickr page for this. You can see the unique lighting that this thing spits out and you'll immediately go, oh my god, I always wondered how you got that sort of lighting. And that sort of lighting comes from this unit. I got a couple of them for a reason. Why have a couple of them? I don't know. It's that incredible. Now, there is one complaint about this unit. This unit is designed to be portable. So it has to be lightweight. And when you make something more lightweight, you make it fragile. 
Okay, so you have to be careful with it. That's not to say it is made poorly. It means that it's fragile. It's designed to be lightweight and very, very portable. It's designed to be a handheld unit. This unit too, by the way, has a clamp back here which is removable. You're able to mount it on the light stand. You're able to, it comes with the adapter that plugs, uh, that uh, snaps right in here with a hole in the middle of it. So you're able to pop in an umbrella. So you can use this as a regular studio strobe exactly like this. Even though this is a ring light, all the capabilities of this exist here with the addition of the ring light. So this is, this is the Swiss Army knife of money making machines right here. I actually consider not owning this unit to be the, the tantamount equivalency of stupidity. For $400 and a $200 battery pack, you have got your own license to make money. You better listen to me. You think I'm exaggerating? I'm not. There are a lot of people, well, there have been a number of people out there that have bought this unit like, oh my God, you know, I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm booked up. I mean, I'm making money hand over fist. This thing paid for itself over a weekend and now it's just pure profit. There have been more than a few people that have said that. You know, thanks for telling me about the uh, ABR 800 ring light. I've got no connection to Posse Buff. They don't give me anything. They wouldn't even give me a free t-shirt. <laughs> so, these more so than the lens that you're saving up for, it is about saturation. Okay, the, I can do a lot more with one of these lights and a poor lens than I can with the best lens in the world and crappy lighting. I've said before that there's no such thing as bad lighting, there's only bad photographers, and that's my motto, by the way. But it's also true that your camera craves saturation. It gives you the pop, the separation, the depth, the contrast that basically no lighting can. And the one thing that separates out douchebag photography from professional photography is learning how to use one or all of these little units. Yeah, that's it. When you can do this, every person you see out there shooting a wedding, you know, they're doing, a, let's go out in the sun, they're using a little reflector. You know, they're not cutting it. You gotta have one of these. And this is so much cheaper than, a, you know, even a cheap lens. I mean, like, ah, oh, 500 bucks. So what will $500 get you? This is, unit is $279. That plus the $200 power pack, 480 bucks. Add in another $20 for a cheap, a cheap stinking umbrella and Chinese light stand, and umbrellas and light stands are cheap. That is your license to print money. $279, this portable power pack, you will be printing money. You will be. Umbrella, cheap stinking light stand. Now you, you should go down to Walmart and actually buy some uh, dumbbells with straps on them, make your own straps, or use a rope, whatever to hold the light stand down because when you go outside the wind hits that umbrella it'll knock your crap over and it'll break it or it could fall on someone's head and then it'll sue your butt so you need to have a weight for the light stand you know buy a pair of five pound dumbbells at Walmart and tie a rope to them or make a strap out of velcro you don't have to buy the actual uh, sandbags like I have over here which actually are filler rocks um, so anyway instead of saving for that lens consider saving for some lighting because this will improve your photography if you learn how to use it, it's not that difficult. In addition to that, you really should have a light meter. One thing that speeds up the use of all of these things, your camera can't meter any of these strobes. This is why any professional that has used a strobe more than a month has a cheap ass little light meter. And you can get like an old Minolta light meter that meters uh, uh, flash uh, illumination, either from Speedlight or Studio Strobe for $100. The old Minolta Autometer 4 that I used to use back in photography school works perfectly for that. 100 bucks used, eBay. So consider that. Everything I said in this video is more true than you dare possibly imagine. Okay? Thanks for watching. Bye.